Now we have already learned how to divide the decimal numbers. Over here we need to divide 93.6 by 4. So 93.6 is a decimal number and I want to divide it by 4. So first I consider 9. Now 4 goes into 9 2 times. 2 into 4 is 8. And I subtract it to get 1. Then we bring down 3. We have 13. Now 4 goes into 13 3 times. 3 into 4 is 12. And I have 1. Now after 3 there is a decimal point. So what do I do about it? Now when we have a decimal point in the dividend. I put a decimal point in the quotient as well. So for this decimal point in the dividend, I put a decimal point in the quotient. And now I bring down this 6. So I get 16. 4 goes into 16 4 times. So 4 into 4 is 16 and the remainder is 0. So this is what we have. 23.4 is the answer of this division. So 93.6 divided by 4 gives us 23.4. And this is how we can divide the decimal numbers. Now what is 27.72 divided by 0 0.7? Now in this case, there is a decimal number in the divisor as well as in the dividend. We already know that when there is a decimal number in the divisor, we need to bring the decimal point to the right. So I have 27.72 divided by 0 0.7. Now in order to bring the decimal point to the right, I need to shift it by one place. Now if I do that, I need to multiply it by 10. And if I multiply the denominator by 10, I need to multiply the numerator also by 10. In which case, this decimal point will also shift by one place to the right. So as I shift this decimal point to the right by one place, even this decimal point shifts to the right by one place. And this becomes 277.2 because this now shifts by one place divided by and if this shifts by one place it becomes 0 7 or I can write only 7. So this is what we have. So now the divisor does not have a decimal point and the dividend has a decimal point. So I have 277.2 divided by 7. So first I take 2 now 7 goes into 2 0 times. Then I take 7. So I have 2 7 27. 7 goes into 27 3 times. 3 into 7 is 21. And I have 6 here. Now I bring down this 7. 7 goes 9 times into 67. So we have 63. And there is 4 here. Now there is a decimal point here. When we get a decimal point in the dividend, we put a decimal point in the quotient as well. And now I move to the next digit which is 2. 7 into 6 is 42. So I get the remainder 0. So the quotient is 39.6. The quotient is 39.6. This is the answer. So now can you divide this on your own? What is 17.05 divided by 1.1? So I have 17.05 divided by 1.1. Now the divisor has a decimal point. So first I need to remove the decimal point. For doing that, I need to shift the decimal point to the right by one place. So, I need to multiply it by 10. 
and if i multiply it by 10 even the dividend or the numerator will be multiplied by 10 so even this point will shift to the right by one place so if the decimal point in the divisor shifts to the right by one place the decimal point in the dividend will also shift to the right by one place so now this becomes 170.5 divided by 11 so now let us divide this so i have 11 and here i have 170.5 so first i take 17 now 11 into 1 is 11 so i have 6 and i bring down this zero 11 goes 5 times into 60 Five into eleven is fifty-five. So I subtract to get a five here. Now we have a decimal point. So when I get a decimal point in the dividend, I put a decimal point in the quotient as well. And now we have a five here. So eleven into five is fifty-five again, and the remainder is zero. So the quotient is fifteen point five. So this is the answer. So seventeen point zero five divided by one point one gives us fifteen point five. So this is how we can do long division involving decimal numbers. If there is a decimal point in the divisor, we first need to remove the decimal point. so the number of places the decimal point shifts to the right in the denominator the same number of places it will shift to the right in the numerator as well and then we can divide it normally if you like this video then subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per cbse icsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures on maths science english and social science a unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts and that's not all you can also win exciting prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now